If you've been following the advice on our wellness segments, you should be seeing some results by now. Here is this month's health and wellness segment produced in cooperation with Tri-City Regional Medical Center. Aloha Hawaiian Gardens, we're excited to be joining you on your journey to finding a happier and healthier you. I'm Ali Kona, always here to give you some excellent veggie options. And I'm Amanda Sensaba, your registered dietitian. Now we know as you embark on your journey up and down the grocery aisles, it's really hard to determine what exactly these grocery labels are saying. When you read the nutrition labels, you kind of look at it and you go, okay, um, low what? calories, low fat, okay, it sounds good, I think I'm gonna get it, but do we really understand what's on that food label? Maybe Amanda, yeah. you can teach us a little bit better. Most yeah. of the time, people really don't know what they're looking for, so today, my goal is to teach you how to read a food label and show you what's most important. So, for example, one of the things you find in a grocery store is your um, carton of yeah. milk. You're always going to have your food label and your list of ingredients on here. What you want to pay attention to, most importantly, is your serving size. One serving in this entire carton of milk is actually a cup, eight ounces. But for Wait, the entire I'm sorry to cut you off, but like what exactly is eight ounces? Like for those of us who are just pouring a cup of milk, like to me, I just fill my cup up. I'm glad you mentioned that. So here I've actually poured a cup so you can okay. get an idea. This looks like a pretty standard cup that you right. have in your totally. kitchen. Well, one serving is actually halfway filled. That would be considered a cup, which is your eight ounces. The entire cup would be two servings. Now, yeah. Alicona, if you do get two servings, uh -huh. everything on your food label that I'm gonna go over, mm -hmm. you have to double because you're getting two servings. Uh, okay. So, all of the components on a food label are for one serving size, so you wanna always keep that in mind, and it'll always list the serving size. Okay. So, for this particular carton of milk, there's total fat is 2.5 grams, okay? okay? okay which is for your one cup serving. They've listed your sodium amount, which is 150 milligrams. It's always done in milligram dosage. Okay. A low sodium diet, which is appropriate for the average American that you wanna make sure to consume, mm -hmm. is about 2,000 milligrams per day, okay. which is equivalent to two grams. So here, you're not getting too much in one cup. Okay, so Amanda, I see all these fats on here. I see saturated fat, polyunsaturated, monosaturated. Can you differentiate like what's good, what's bad? Like, how do you know? Because I see fat and automatically you just kind of get turned off. Exactly. Of course, there's different types of fat, good and bad. You have your polyunsaturated and your monounsaturated. We're actually both good fats, but you also have your saturated fats. Your saturated fats are the bad fat that you want to avoid. Yeah. That causes the plaque buildup in the arteries, Helps. which can lead to stroke, cardiovascular heart disease, disease, exactly, diabetes. So those are the things that you want to avoid. It's really important to make sure you look at your saturated fat and try to decrease that one as much as possible. Right, and, and as always, anything that's gonna be a plant-based derived item is gonna have zero cholesterol and zero saturated fat. Exactly, just Healthy like this option. one, zero grams of saturated fat. Okay, well you know what, speaking of carbohydrates, that's actually what we're gonna be getting into in our next episode. So I found that really, really handy. Hopefully you guys did too. Always again, making sure that we're looking at the serving size and making sure that we're actually eating what the serving size is and taking in consideration that we might be doubling it. So thank you again so much. You guys stay tuned, that way we can help you guys figure out the good and the bad carbs. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Alicona and Amanda. Always great information on how to live healthy. We also invite you to check out all the programs available at the city that can help you towards a new fit you. There are Zumba classes, a workout center, racquetball courts, basketball, soccer, volleyball, karate classes, and much more.